What's going on everybody? So I'm back in the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. And today's video we're going to be talking about iOS 16. So we're just a couple of weeks away from the official launch date of iOS 16. So um, over the last couple of months, I have been actually running the beta since beta one. Uh, really haven't had any bad experiences with running iOS 16 beta other than the first one with it being the battery issue but other than that everything's been pretty smooth so um obviously a lot of people know about the, like the redesign at lock screen you got now finally got the battery percentage and just a ton of new cool features which I will make a separate video on for those that will be updating to the public version so with that being said there are a couple of features or features that I'm that I was super excited for that won't be available at launch for iOS 16. So the first feature I was super excited for was the CarPlay feature with iOS 16. So if you guys didn't watch the WWDC event, they basically have a new CarPlay experience uh, with a ton of new customizations. But unfortunately, that feature will not be available until late 2023, just because Apple does have to get in touch with these manufacturers and basically update it or adopt this new feature that they did have or that they did showcase at the event uh, to obviously work with their uh, vehicles. So there are a couple of manufacturers that were on the list that Apple did mention, uh, such as Ford, uh, Honda, Land Rover and Nissan and I think there are a couple other ones that they did mention but those are the ones I can remember on the top of my head but uh, most likely uh, I did say it late 2023 so most likely iOS 17 and even though Apple did say late 2023 I don't believe it will actually come out until most likely like 2024 uh, but that is the first feature the second one which I'm also super excited at which will be coming out uh, at a later date is the live activity feature so if you don't know what this feature basically if you um, order like an uber um, or you order uber eats you basically will get a live activity feed on your lock screen so um, just a pretty cool feature if you're always ordering because i'm always ordering uber eats to my house um, also it does work with like exercising so the um, fitness app as well as sports so sport is a main one that a lot of people were um, super excited about so if you're watching like football basketball baseball you will be able to see live activity on your lock screen it looks very clean just i just love how the look of it will appear on your lock screen so i'm super excited about that which will most likely in my opinion i think come out in ios 16.1 or 16.2 so we will probably have to wait a couple months for that uh, but hopefully that does come out very soon after the official launch day but let me know um down below in the comment section if you are interested in these features at all or you don't really care about ios 16 will you even be updating to ios 16 once it does drop because i know the first uh, version of uh, the public version of a brand new version of ios is usually a bit buggy for some people but like I said, I've been running beta since beta one for iOS 16 and I really haven't experienced any problems um, since they have fixed the battery life issue. But there you guys have it. That's basically it. Drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button and that post notification bell so you guys never miss a video. Basically it and I'll see you guys in the next one.